So this is a witch. Um, I I made this and posted uh, something like posted this quite a while ago, like years ago. If uh, if you've seen the one I did years ago, I didn't have gray hair. That's how long ago it was. Uh, someone on Facebook, no, someone on YouTube asked me to uh, post the instructions for the entire thing right here, so I'm going to do it. This is a different version, uh, it will be a slightly different version than the original one that I posted. I make the head a little differently now, even though I haven't made this one in a long time. Like, uh, I don't know how many years. But anyway, we're going to put it together. Uh, I have made this and, and it scales up really well if you use 350s or 360s and uh, if you're going to make it with uh, 350s, 360s it's also nice to make the what we'll call the thighs right here in uh, 646 or 660s that works real well and uh, anyway I, I have made this and put this on the lawn in, in the larger size or put it by our door for Halloween type stuff I'm going to give you a bit of a full circle here on how I, how I do it here so oh, maybe back up a little bit, hopefully you can see everything. So there we go. So we, uh, I'm going to use some scraps and stuff like that because it's, you know, that's just what I'm going to do. So we're going to start with a green, um, you know, make the head any color you like, but I tend to do it green. And if I do this in lime green, then I do this, sorry, if I do this in dark green, my green, I do this in lime green or I reverse it. Uh, I find myself, I like it in dark green, but any color you like is fine, okay? And I'm not sure who gets credit for this, uh, this head design. I know it's not me, that's for sure. Uh, I, I'm fairly sure that I also years ago saw it in uh, Bloom Magic the magazine and, and maybe some other early publications I don't remember. But anyway, I know it's public domain head, that's a for sure. So. Uh, the very first balloon or twist that I'm going to do will eventually, I'm going to pick this brim up here, so you can see the, the head, and we're going, it, uh, the first bubble will make the bridge of, of the nose right there. I find having that balloon there right there it gives it uh, more of an evil look. That's the way I like it, and hey, I'm making it. So, we're going to do about three fingers. And actually, if you want to make that kind of a, a soft three fingers, that's not so bad. And then from there, we're going to come down the side of the head. We'll do an, what will be an ear, then we'll do what will be the cheek, then we'll do the nose, then we'll do a cheek, then we'll do the nose. Or sorry, nose, cheek, ear. Okay? So that is a bit of a, uh, quite a bundle of balloon twisting there. So, once again, we're going to do the side of the head. Then we're going to do what will eventually be an ear. So make that as big as you want. Mine's about two fingers, I'll say. Then we're going to do the, the cheek. So that's about three fingers, but you know, you figure out your own dimensions. And then we'll do uh, what'll be the nose. And that's, you know, uh, smaller than the, the ear right there. Then we're going to make sure our cheek is fairly close to the size. That's actually, I'm going to back that up just a little bit and, and add just a little bit of balloon to that. Then we're going to do an ear which hopefully will match the other ear. Okay, So that is currently what we have. Um, what I'm going to do right now is, now if you want you can let go of this myself, I don't want to. So I'm not going to. I'm going to twist, there's the ear, then we're going to twist the nose. Then we're going to twist the other ear. And I have to pin this up against myself to do that. Okay, so. Now I'll show you where we are. That will be eventually, eventually the bridge of the nose. We have our side of the head, ear, cheek, nose, cheek, ear. Okay. Now what we've, we've got two options and whatever you do is the right way to do it. We can then from there go to the bottom of the jaw or we can do the, the back of the head right there. Whichever you do, that's the correct thing to do. Okay, So we're going to squeeze and I, I guess to be honest what I'm going to do right now because that's, I'm the one doing it is make the back of the head.
So that now is the back of the head. Now this has to be big enough so we can eventually push the this balloon right through. That's important because that's just how we, we attach the head. The neck goes right through to there. Hopefully you can see that. Okay. So I've done the back of the head. Now I'm going to do the, the uh, soften it again. And that will be the mouth right there. I'm going to let go of this. Okay? Just because it's too difficult to uh, hold on to. So that will be the, the mouth right there. So that is where we are now. I'm going to squeeze this. Once again, I, I wanted this one kind of soft, so hopefully it is. And uh, we want the, the side of the head and the other side of the head to be the same. So line those up basically above the nose. And, oops, not yet. Try again. Like I'm twisting it here, so hopefully you can see. Yeah, that'll do. I'm gonna wrap that around. And then I'm going to push this right through the back of the head. Okay. That is our witch head right there. Okay. Then I'm going to grab, um, well, let's see if I have a scrap of red. If I don't, then I, okay, that's not red. I'm going to use, oh, I found a scrap of red. I should have had one ready. It's not big enough. Okay. For no reason at all, we're using pink. Look. And we'll go about that big. That's maybe three fingers. Once again, uh, make it as big or as small as you like. That's your preference. Take the end off of that. Okay. We're going to give this a squeeze, and hopefully that's halfway. Where's my head? Right there. Good. So I'm going to put the eyes in there, and I'm going to pull the, um, the brow down. Now I find myself, and let's say I haven't done this in quite a while, so I'm definitely out of practice. Make sure that you hide the actual notch of the uh, of the balloon. Okay. So as you can see right there, I have not hidden that 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 knot right there. So I'm going to back it up again. Going to pull it down gently. Remember we do want this part of the balloon. The other option is to uh, to, to do the, the brow and then force the eyes in. But then uh, myself I, I worry that I'm gonna throw I'm worried that I'm gonna explode the brow right here then when I push the head the eyes into the head. Okay? There. So there we are currently like that. Then we can put the teeth in, and for no reason at all, I will use yellow teeth. Once again, whatever color you think, that's the, that's the right answer, okay? So we're going to do about three fingers, maybe four. I like to tie them up here, just like that. Get rid of the, the end, and then we're going to force the teeth in. Okay? There we go. As you can see, I've got a almost like a booger nostril right there, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to hide it. Yeah. Now let's put the um, the hat on and take a scrap of whatever you like, and it's going to go somehow through the back of the head or the front of the head. Okay. Okay. There. Like that. Okay. We will grab a black balloon, which will be the hat. How much air did I put in there? That's that much right there. Okay, so that's four four inches maybe. Let's uh, pull this tight. Get rid of that. Make the uh, the the hat is the we call it the hook. Make the hook of the hat as long or as short as as you want. There. And then I take whatever color I had for the head, or I tied around the head, sorry. Wrap it around a few times. I don't, you know, don't, don't worry about it. It's going to stay. There's no real pressure pushing it off. Okay. Then we'll do a little bubble. 
not real big, let's say that's about one, one finger. Then I'm going to do a, another one finger bubble and that will be a pinch twist because what we're going to do is we're going to do a pinch twist, then we're going to wrap around to the pinch twist, then we do another bubble, another pinch twist, wrap around again to the pinch twist. Myself, that hat's good enough. You, you can make it bigger if you like. I just don't think it's necessary, but that's me. Do whatever you want. So, we're going to soften. We're going to go all the way around. Wrapping that around the pinch wrist. And remember, make sure you roll that balloon around a couple of times as, as you're going. Make sure you roll, otherwise it'll explode. Now you can see that's how big we are. So we need another uh, another row or round on the hat. So that's another one finger bubble, approximately. Another one finger. Wrap that, or twist that once or twice. Soften it again. So this one here, I'm going to just um, push the, the pinch twist up here, uh, the first one there, because if, if I don't, it tends to push the whole hat down. When I say down, I mean it, it forces it down this way. Okay. And we are going to now wrap. I'm going slow on purpose here. Two reasons. One is if you're following along, that makes it easier for you. And two, I haven't made this one in quite a while, like I said. Um, just the, the balloon events that I've been doing for the last whatever number of years, nobody, I never have time for this. And people are happy to get quicker stuff. So, that's my story. Now we've got this right here. Let's pull the end off. There, go on. And just to make sure that you don't unwind anything, I'm gonna take this, um, what I've got left off the black balloon. I'm gonna wrap it around the, the very first pinch twist. Once good enough, I think. So we line that up there. Okay. There's your, I, I made this one, this, this black balloon, uh, the second one too big. So, as everything, do better than me. Okay. It doesn't matter what I do, it's too big. If you make it too small, you can always stretch it a little bit. If you make it too big, you can't make it smaller. Okay? That's the whole way it goes. So, I just say, do better than me. Now, let's do the body. Now, the, the body is, is a four section. So, I, I start with an arm. Actually, I put the green one on, you'll see. We do an arm. I'm going to do uh, two or three pinch twists right here. That holds the neck really well. Then I do basically four bubbles, and I come back and I do the other, the other arm. Okay. So I'm going to take a, a scrap of green. There. That'll do. That's one hand. Might be two. I might have to add some more balloon to it. So then I'm going to grab. I'm reaching into my apron over here to grab the balloon. There. So how much air did I put in there? About that much, about four inches. I think that was about as much as I put into the head. Anyway, we're going to take our scrap, we're going to tie them together. Then this is the way I make simple hat. A uh, couple inch, a uh, couple finger bubble, maybe a three finger bubble. Twist that around a few times. Wrap it around, and let's get rid of this green. I'm going to add just a bit of air to it. There we go. So I can save that now and use that for the other hand. Then I'm going to do uh, about four, maybe five fingers right there. That'll be one hand. I'm going to do one pinch twist. Let's do that again with a, with a balloon that hopefully doesn't explode on me. There. All right, back to where I started. Yeah. With no fancy editing, you will see that on the video. So, back to where I was. Wrapping that around. I should tie it, but I'm just going to wrap it around. Back to here. It's kind of funny. I thought that balloon just looked a little unusual. I'm going to reach down and take a, another look at it, because what the heck. No, it popped right where I was twisting it. Alright. So, pinch twist. 
another pinch twist and then we're going to do the, the, the four section body so make that as, as long as you know kind of figure it out if you want your arms that long on the body if you want it smaller then, then that's what you do okay I'm going to make it about that big okay. so that for me is um, about six or seven fingers okay. and we're going to go back up to the pinch twist at the top and roll that around I'm kind of softening the black as I go along twist here there's currently a three section roll through another another uh, twist excuse me for just a minute okay good but I saw something out in the backyard so I'm wrapping that around now if I want I can use this to also make a third pinch twist right now I feel comfortable to just have two so we're lining up the hands right there then we will take our green and I will tie the, the say the strap from the one side to the other side I'm gonna do that again okay then we're gonna do the uh, two inch bubble and about a three inch bubble twisting around it's almost like the parrot uh, parrot beak kind of look okay. I like to, to wrap around a few times. Let's make our, as I say, make our noise. Boom, off she comes. And get rid of the green. Off it comes. So that will be the body. I'm not going to put the arms down right now. And now I'm going to do the, the uh, skirt right here. And uh, if you're going to upsize this one, I find that just, um, like, well, it takes three. If you use two 60s or, or three 50s, or if you use a 646 or a, a 660, uh, then I just use like a three petal flower, we'll call it, and they lay flat. Uh, I tried it with the other ones and they're just too big. Uh, if you use, you know, try to do six big petals like this. Anyway, this is a standard flower right there, okay? So, we're gonna, I'm gonna take a, a purple one. Yeah, we blow it up all the way, and don't be afraid to release quite a bit of air softens the whole balloon, tie, find your end right here, tie, or twist I mean, it's how I make my flower, if it's a six petal flower, slight slight tug, then I fold it on to myself, that was the way that I find my third, I give it a twist here, I give it a twist there, and they don't have to be perfect thirds, okay, so, squish, twist, up, there. There is our flower right there. Then once again, I, I take a, a scrap of whatever I think I need and for no reason at all, I'm taking a yellow one. Yeah. And that will eventually tie the dress. Where's my body? Oh, to the body. And then we'll put the head on top of that right there. Okay. Now we're going to do the legs, and because I have lilac here, I'm going to use lilac again, and it's hopefully easy for you to, to follow. So, th this one, I use about four fingers, you can use more if you like, but I'm using four fingers, and I'm grabbing the skirt, and you can put this, this tie this yellow one that I have you can put that in any time you want it didn't have to be right after you made the flower okay so that I'm just adjusting this here so hopefully it helps you with the what the heck am I doing okay that's a, that's the skirt it'll look much better after I've uh, put the body on it then we're going to match up the the thighs that'll do we're going to pull it apart make sure when you do pull it apart that you do also give yourself enough space so that you have you can tie it up easily okay there 
And what color? I used yellow for the kind of almost the knees and the, the shin. So we're going to do yellow again. Just have to uh, move the witch head off. Here comes the yellow. There, about that big. So we're going to tie the yellow onto the purple. And then I used uh, three pink twists. So there's one, two, and one more. Wrapping around. Good. So, all right. So, um, I guess at this point, oh, I should have mentioned, I, I kind of do, like, this is almost a high heel shoe right here. We've got a shoe, uh, or sorry, the heel, a couple of pinch twists, and then I try to shape the, the, uh, the, the shoe right there. Sometimes it works well, sometimes it doesn't, most of the time it doesn't, okay? But if you want to put it on, go ahead, then you can notice that they have a high heel shoe. The other one right here, I didn't, it's the exact same thing, but with no heel, and I didn't soften the shoe, so it, it doesn't shape as much. Um, I'll show you the high heel shoe, and hopefully you like it, and if you don't, eh, sorry. So, we're going to do it in black again, so let me just grab a black balloon. Come on out, just a minute. There we go. Got my black balloons right here. So you make the shin as long or as short as you want. I've decided to make it that big. Then I am going to bubble right there. And, and, and that first bubble, you can either make that into a pinch twist or you can use that as the, the heel on your shoe. Your choice, okay? I'm gonna soften, I'm gonna definitely now do a pinch twist. Soften again, just a little bit, not a pinch twist. Wrapping that around a few times. Good, and I'm gonna soften quite a bit. Make as big as I think the shoe needs to be, but still make sure it's soft. Wrap everything into the pinch twist, but don't don't accidentally split the pinch twist that you have at the, the heel. Good. And I, I like to slightly tug, get rid of that. You're going to need this for the other shoe. So tie it up. Put it into safekeeping over there. Then we're going to get rid of this. More noise. Boom. Gone. Okay. The, with the yellow, we're going to just go back to the other knee. And there's only about 700 different ways to do this. Uh, sometimes I would go from the, the, the foot, the shoe, up to the shin, do my three pinch twists, then go across, three pinch twists and back down, and then just snap that, that middle bubble in between. So if that's what you want to do, you go right ahead and do it. As I said, um, I, I haven't been doing m multiple or, or very complicated balloons lately. Um, part of the reason is that the, the place that used to hire me to do all that, uh, they don't hire me anymore. Uh, that's okay because I'm busy with another group that hires me more. And um, I get bored. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. If I do something that's this long, I, I'm bored by the end of it. Oh man, I want to do something else already. So that's why that's why I don't do these ones. I mean, I do them right now. But if I was in the, the situations where they were paying me, I would definitely do it. But I'm not. Basically, I do whatever the whatever the, the person that hires me wants. So I've tied this together. Now this one is going to be the, the basic basic foot or shoe. I'm going to do two pinch twists. Wrap that around. And just twist a few times. Gonna take the yellow, push it through the pinch twist again. Little tug, noise, noise again. Boom. There. Okay, that is the lower body. Good. Then we will. Where's my? Oh, there's my upper body. And I'll take the, the yellow one here, oh, just because it's yellow, I could have used any color. 
We're going to push that through parts of the, uh, the black body, so the, the upper torso. We're going to force this through. There we go. And I will push it again right through. Good. Okay, that is our body, our witch's legs, skirt, upper body. I'm going to take the arms, push them into or in between two of the, uh, the torso. I can see with this one I, I should have made my torso a little longer, so as I say, do better than me. Okay. Then we have our head right here. Remember when it comes to the hat, do better than me. Okay. We're going to decide how big to make the neck because, uh, well, taking a look it'll be like about like that. So there's the back of it right there. If you make uh, the, the mouth a little smaller, we'll say, then, then you don't need to make the neck as long. But we're gonna leave it there. We're gonna make noise as it sit, bang, off she comes. Going to, just for some reason, soften the balloon again. Good, tying it up. So I just released a little bit of air there when I softened it. And we take our, what's left of the green balloon here. We wrap it around. Hide the, the end of the green wherever you need to. Get the, the head going in the right direction. Yeah. I should have made the neck a little shorter, but whatever, that's how it is. Uh, do your artwork and uh, hopefully you use it. Like I say, when you make this as a, a 350, 360, you know, that kind of, it looks much better. Um, that's the one with eye coloring on it, how I did it. And of course, clean up all of your scraps. You know, we don't need to see this all the time and, and all of that, but anyway, I hope you like it and um, please use it, um, you know come from many, many different people's ideas, not mine, that's for sure. Anyway, I hope you watched the whole thing, and I hope you like it. Bye for now.